Hey guys and welcome back again to my channel and to another video. Thank you for watching all of my videos. I hope you enjoy them. Today's video I am doing a simple pillow sham that you can do at home with just a sewing machine and some simple fabrics. So welcome. I hope you'll subscribe to enjoy more videos. I do DIY homemade decor, farmhouse signs, sewing projects, and other vinyl cutting projects. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. So to begin, you will need two different fabrics. I used a Waverly pink polka dot from Walmart and a plain white material for the back. For the front pieces, I cut two squares, 31 inches by 25 inches. And for the back, I cut four pieces that were 19 by 25 inches. Now this sham has a two inch flange all around the edges as you can see. And this size accounts for that flange. This is also a standard size pillow sham. The sizes you will need to cut for like king or euro sizes, I will try to leave a description in the box below. So the first thing I did was fold in one long edge of the backing fabric, about one half inch, and then I ironed it. Then I folded it in one more time, so I had a nice finished edge on one side. And I did this for all four of the backing pieces. Then on my sewing machine, I used a simple straight stitch on everything. I used a stitch length of anywhere from two and a half to three and a half, and a width of zero. After I got done sewing, I just trimmed all the extra fabric away from my corners and edges and then I just ironed out the edges. So to make the two inch flange around the pillow, I measured two inches starting from one edge and then I just positioned my needle two inches down from that edge and started sewing from there and I also used a piece of tape and I placed it to the right two inches away from my needle and I used that as a guide and then as I got to the end I just used my measuring tape to make sure that I stayed that two inches away from my edge Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you'll come back next time for more videos and I'll see you then.